Welcome everyone. Uh, today we are going to discuss in detail uh, the good model. And you know that it was written by John Dunn. And already you have uh, read it. So can anyone share how many stages are there in the poem? Three stages. Three stages. And it's a really an interesting poem. So we are going there one by one. Okay. Uh, first of all, we will try to highlight some views. Already, this is one of the pictures you have seen. The picture indicates a word. It's a town or the village. The village. It's a, obviously a village one. Okay. Uh, very natural. Nature is there. Calm and quiet. Eh? Uh, so it indicates that uh, simplicity is there. How it is related with the point later on we will discuss one after another. But you should try to f see and observe and evaluate all the views very closely. What it is, why uh, I have used the colors here. Then uh, next one. So the scenery is very familiar to you. In our country we say all the children when they were kids they were living in their villages or they used to live in their villages even we used to live in our villages we try to do it naturally and without having any reason no one even insisted no one, one uh, even encouraged you to do that but to follow is there any um, uh, uh, things can, can anyone explain these things how to you cope up with this to expose your what simplicity to expose your innocence ideas mind you have done it whenever you are in church next one very interesting and familiar to you we used to do it when we were in village even the children who live in the village they are also doing the same thing. They jump it when, whenever they have got any uh, jumping, jumping, diving uh, over the water, and they try to what jump over the from the tree or bank of the river, bank of the pond as well. The next one is very familiar to your habituated with it as well. Now question, how these are related with the poem, as you have read the poem. And we know that good morning actually is a poem of love. But so far we have seen that the pictures are not showing uh, those things. The pictures are telling something else. Country activities, are sorry. How? This kind of joy. Anything else? It is showing the connectivity with uh, nature. Uh, to love nature. Love nature. Powerful actually. nature. But yes. love, how love is connected or uh, relevant with the nature? Or close to the nature? Because of his childhood. Because of his childhood. The love comes always after childhood. Whenever you are becoming uh, adult. adult. Or in an adolescent age. But in that time he doesn't know, the boy doesn't know what love is, what he is doing. Doing unknowing, innocent love. Okay. Love. The next one is also interesting, you see. I think most of you have the experience also. Hmm? To collect the juice, dead juice for the tree, the group of companions. Hmm? It's interesting. Do you have any experience? I do that. Okay, another invention is coming for you. Very to us. We used to, we used to drive, drive it 
I am playing with it. Next one, almost the same. You have experiences. Why you are doing, why you are pulling, you don't know, but you get the pleasure. And these are the very close to the poem to understand the theme of the poem. Next one. So before it, we at first we are trying to analyze something else. What consists? Consists. We know that but Morrow is considered as a metaphysical poem. And John Donne is considered as a metaphysical poem. So what consists? A consist is a composition between two far based things. Far based. In the last class we told. Yes. These are the beyond our imagination and to dissimilar but beyond our imagination, physical existence actually. This type of things whenever you are compared, these are called the word metaphysical conceits. Okay? The things compared are openly dissimilar. This kind of comparison creates surprise among the readers and gives them pleasure of discovery. In the good model, there are several consists. What the consists are used? At first, we try to highlight those things. First of all, the comparison between the unaware lovers and the breast feedback. It's already in our picture, we may have shown it. Breast feeding back. The relationship between the mother and child should not be compared with the adult boy and girl's love. These are completely dissimilar. But you have seen that whenever the baby is were taking the breast of what? The mother. When the mother feeds her baby, male. So the relationship is very innocent. Very simple. Similarly, whenever two young couple fall in love and they love each other, and if their mind is fresh, their activities, their every things should be considered with the breastfeeding. That's why it is connected. But have you noticed these are beyond our imagination? We have never thought such a way the love affection can be like that. It indicates our innocence of the love. Innocence of the love. Don't forget it. And the second comparison between the unconscious lovers and seven sleepers who slept for 200 years. Later on, uh, uh, we will discuss it in details. The comparison between the lovers, micro world and the real world. Two hemispheres. With the two hemispheres we have seen uh, that uh, is compared. The comparison between the two hemispheres and the two lovers. Next, we are going to explain about uh, the seven slippers then. Do you have any idea about the seven slippers then? What type of illusion it is? What is an illusion? Not illusion. Illusion and illusion, these are the different. What is an illusion? References. References. Close references are taken from the different sources. There are four kinds of illusion. One is biblical or religion, another is historical, another is geographical, and fourth one is cultural. And this is what type of this is biblical reference. Okay, obviously. So this is the seven silver version. You have seen there is a den. For example, there's an artist review. We have seen how many uh, people are there? How many people are there? Seven. They are the brothers. Do you know the history of the seven silver den? Can anyone mention? Please. Uh, there were the seven young boys and uh, uh, after and? Uh, many centuries they were uh, uh, or they were uh, alive in this day. And then? Then uh, they were, actually they were sleeping. Sleep. Sleep. Okay. Uh, we know <coughs> the reference is taken from the Bible. It means it indicates it is a biblical re illusion, a reference, and it is related with the Christian. According to the Christian belief or the Bible, we know that one day <coughs> in a state, in a kingship, there was a king who goes against the religion. But these seven brothers. 
protest against the ruling king. Even the king became also a tyrant or autocratic one. He suppressed the people, dominate the people. Brutal. That's why these seven brothers protested. But one day, the king realizes that if the seven brothers are allowed to do it frequently, most of the people will be or will be what? Goes against the king. They will go against the will go against the king, and there will be a revelation. Better to kill them. That's why he has sent a number of soldiers to catch them and to make them judge. So whenever the news goes to the seven brothers, they thought that they should leave the state and they have decided <coughs> that they should drive away to somewhere else. But whenever they started running towards, in that time the soldiers are also driving them. Whenever they reaches to the upper of the hill, there was a cave, they became tired, they entered the cave or den and whenever they entered the cave, suddenly a huge stone blocked, blocked the mouth of the, mouth of the door of the cave. cave. And the soldiers tried to remove it, but they failed. And they thought that the seven brothers must die as number of soldiers tried to remove it. So they came back. And whenever the seven brothers entered the cave, as they were tired and they became asleep. They got asleep. And how long they slept there? 200 years, two centuries, 200 years. After 200 years, whenever they got, whenever woke up, and they felt that they are hungry now. They were hungry. So it's better to come out. And whenever they come to the mouth of the cave, automatically the stone removed. And they came out and they went to the local market. They purchased some goods and community and the foods. But problem arise there. But whenever they paid the money, the traders could understand that the currency is not available now. And one of the traders understood that these are the those seven brothers to whom they have heard the news. Okay? This is the reason. So, it's true. Now question to you. Why the love affection between or of two couples are compared to the seven slippers gym? Their sleep. Can anyone tell that? Their uh, love will be alive. Uh, is it possible? Sir, no. it's because of the bonding. Because when the soldiers came, the brothers never up with each other. And they always supported. And it is one of the reasons, another? Anyone can support or anyone can act? Uh, maybe um, they were unaware of the um, facts. <coughs> unaware about the facts. The facts uh, outside that cave. And uh, maybe the speaker wanted to compare uh, the person that the lover, beloved, the speaker and his beloved. Maybe they were unaware of their existence. Their existence. relationships. Long lasting relationships. They say two, two centuries. But they just feel that they are, uh, they are different as deep as six or seven years, six, six or seven hours. hours. Six or seven hours. But Shorter sleep, they thought. They thought. But it was, it was like two centuries. So their love is compared with this. this unconscious, unaware of love. So you, if from our practical life, you see that whenever a couple, a, a, a young boy or a young girl fell in love, we see that they spend how many hours they don't know. What they are doing, whenever they started their golfing from the very beginning, the sun sets and they thought, oh, only if we, we talked to each other only a few minutes. How they have passed their time, they don't know. It's unconscious love. It's there. So similarly it happens. Okay. Frequently you see that. 
frequently I ask a question uh, myself. What whenever we go to the park, we see that the couples are gossiping and gossiping year hours after hours. But what they actually talk to each other? This is my curiosity. We don't know. We don't know. That's why it is what it is compared to the seventh liberty. Similarly, you will see that these couple will intend that oh tomorrow at the morning or the 10 or 12 we will come here again and they are talking and talking and talking but their words are not were finished ended so it is like that okay that's so why it is coming never talked to that in this way <laughs> that's a great question to you <laughs> okay this is what two hemispheres two hemisphere. so the love of two couple a couple is compared to this hemisphere. This is another conceit we have already put. Now, already we have mentioned this one. The scenery is breastfeeding scenery, the relationship between a child and a mother when a child is breastfeeding. Okay? So, now we are going to analyze the point. So what is it? The poem one by one we will uh, we'll talk to. So how many lines uh, consist uh, in the poem? Can anyone mention? Seven lines in each stanza. Seven lines each stanza. Okay, this. I wonder. By my thoughts. I wonder, wonder means of words, so I by my thoughts. Was thou and I, you and I, did till we loved? Did till we loved? It's a rhetorical question. He's asking, have we not such a way in that time? And more interestingly, you will see that the first standard indicates a past tense. They are early key. Love activities as is revealed here. Were not we went till then? Were not we till and then? So, it went means what here? When a child just leave to what? Our child is not allowed to feed the breast of his mother. That way. So, this is a very unconscious way. They were very kids whenever. They fall in love each other. Actually, they fall in what? They fall in love each other, not in that time. They what? They, when they were adult, they were mature. They fall in love. But their love activities is compared to the relationship with a mother and a child. Then such on the can play the childishly. It's a natural question here, so childishly. What such on county pleasures childishly. What does it mean that? It means that already we have shown some a number of images. A number of images. Those images tell us that whenever we did something else when we were judged, we didn't know why we were it. Only for the pleasure. Frequently you were punished, but you could not bother them. Rather you enjoyed it. Similarly, a number of struggles were there and pleasure. You have done it. And it indicates also what your innocent activities, your innocent mind is there. Or snorted we in seven slippers then. It is another rhetorical question. Why? Here the activities is compared with seven slippers then. Activities. Whenever they make, they fall in love with each other. They don't know why they did it. Next one. It was so. But these all pleasure fences be you have seen honeycomb for example whenever you see that there is a flower the honeys have become uh, sorry the bees have become very busy to call it nectar to make honey so similarly all pleasure fences be whenever the bees are moving from one flower to another flower one garden to another flower they are so much pleased because they are happy to call it more and more nectar to make more honey. Similarly, whenever we fall in love, we exchange our ideas. This is completely full of pleasure. If every 
So if ever any beauty I did see, which I desired and got, it was but a dream of thee. In our practical life, we utter God. If, whether you are a hypocrite one or you are a true lover, you utter the same thing. Oh, what I dreamt, what I desired, I thought it were in your face. You are nothing but what I desired. I'm very good. So what I desire, what I want, it is not but you. So this is the symbol of the love, deep love. The hypocrite also uttered the same thing. Eh? Later on he says that, oh, one day I was quite emotional, that's why I said it. Anyway, now you have seen that, uh, can anyone explain the rhyme scheme of the poem? First of all, you have seen what I, A, then B, C, B, C, B, B, then D, B, D, D, C, then it should be what? C, 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 Okay? The pronunciation, sorry, the sound of the last. Sir, sorry, the rhyme is coming, sir. Blank word. Why should we say that it's a blank verse? What is a blank verse? You don't understand. Later on I will tell you. Okay? That's all. I will. Whenever we go to the next stanza, then you can prove it. Whether it's a blank verse or not. Blank verse doesn't depend on the single stanza. Okay. It depends. It should, we should go to the next stanza as well. Whenever, whenever two or the, all the stanza consists of the similar. Yes. There are some conditions. First of all, Equal right line should have each and every stanza, and all the stanza must have the same, line. same rhyme scheme. If these are, it is not a blank verse. If the rhyme scheme is a different meter, is the ambic pentameter or topic meter or dictyllytic or k anaphyst. In that time, we should say that it's a blank verse. So only we have got one stanza rhyme scheme. So we should go to the next one. Anyway. Uh, next one, how many uh, metaphysical conceits we have got from the very first standard? Can anyone mention please? How many metaphysical conceits? First one, obviously, country pleasure, wind, till then. Hmm? Then, seven super day and Francis B. Francis B. These are. And at the same time, how many rhetorical questions are there? Two. Two only? Three. Four. 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 First one. And Did till we loved? Still uh, we love each other like that way. One support. How we loved or used to love. Second one. Wait till then. This is another rhetorical question. And third one. Such can be played at least Literally, it is third one. And fourth one. Their love is compared, obviously, their love is compared to the seven slippers then and the answer lies there. That's why it is also a rhetorical question. Anyway, have you got any scissora here? Have you got any scissora here? Which one? It was so. Just go there. It was so. But this, all page offenses. So how many times have you stopped there? One, two, two times you have stopped there. And you don't forget that this is a word, the symbol of scissor. Okay. Next one, we have seen that uh, already he has mentioned that this is also as well. How many, uh, is there uh, any round on line or any stop line? How and I did. How and I did till we loved. This is the continuation of the previous line. So that's why it's a round on line. But whenever we go there, uh, which one? The these line. We see that this is the end stop line because it was so. But these all players, Francis, B. This is the end stop line, okay? So a number of things we have. Have you uh, noticed a name, alliteration, assonance, consonance here? Not wind, an interaction of doubles. 
we have seen that you mentioned that the W, 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 these three consonants are repeated and the same sounds are produced, that's why. And these are the very close at the same time. Okay, these are the repetition of the consonant sounds. So these are alliteration, not the assonants, not the consonants. Okay. Then second sleeper. Second sleeper. Yeah, this is a what? This is uh, alliteration. Uh, these are containing. But whenever we consider E, B, and these are what? Assonants. You see that. And you have noticed all the consonant are the different. All the consonant are the different. Huh? That's why these are the assonants. Okay? Anything else? So I think you can understand how to identify these things. Okay? Anyway, next uh, one we are going there. Okay, please. The second standard. And now, good morrow. And now, good morrow is to our working souls. So you see that. And the very first now indicates that they are talking about the present condition of the lovers of the couple. So first one is the past tense. Past time indicates this is the present moment they are talking. Morrow to our working souls. Working souls means what? Conscious or unconscious? Conscious soul is there. What they are doing now? They know, they feel, they can evaluate, they can understand. Then, which watch not one another out of fear. Out of fear. You know that. For example, one day, uh, one thing I would like just to say that uh, it is almost 9 or 10 p.m. So, if I tell that, uh, if I answer that, you can go the boy to your house. She may, what, feel frightened because the boy is unknown. Whenever the boy, the man is very known to him, completely they will be out of fear. Yeah. Similarly here what? Which was not one another out of fear. Nowadays they are not fearing, they are not frightening, they are not doubting any other. They, they have the faith, they have the trust on each other. That's why they can go, they can spend their time together. And for love, all love of other sides come. Uh, control and make one little room and everywhere there this is where you have seen it as well and make one little room and everywhere, everywhere. so makes one little room and everywhere what does it mean that I, I explain it like that way the, people, the couple become shameless wherever they go they think that what we do no one can see it if you have any experience to go to the parks, you will see the number of couples are sitting together. But what they are doing, they are not bothering the other one. What does it mean? That it indicates that they, each and every couple make a room wherever they go. Wherever they go. So, similar thing happens home regarding this couple as well. And let's see, discoveries to new walls have begun. So the discoverers are discovering new words. Discoverers are discovering the new words. But here the speaker, here the man declares that let them do their own work. It is not our task. It is not our task. Why? Because if they do it and if we follow them, if we pay our attention, by this time we may not love each other. So we don't want to waste a single moment rather by this time, we should love each other, which is change our love. And let maps to other. The words on word have shown. Let maps to other. What does it mean that? Whenever the discovers, discover the land to draw a still the map as well. So do them. Let them to do their own work. We should not, we should not bother them. We should not waste a single moment. Rather, we should love each other. Why? Because tomorrow we will survive or not, we don't know. Whether we get in a chance to love each other, we don't know. But we should love when, as we have got the time. Let us pause this one word. Each and one. And is one. It's a word, a repetition. You have seen that. 
It's a parallelism as well. Okay. What? Let us possess one word. Frequently we mention that you and I are the two bodies, but we want so. That's why the, here the speaker declares and possess one word. Each has one. Do you? Okay. Though we have the individual word, he is one. He emphasized. He repeated the same thing. Okay. That's only love you can say that. Now let us come back. First of all, we should see that this is A, this is B, this is what you say? A, this is B, this is B, then uh, sorry, uh, sorry, a uh, bit, a bit, a bit, uh, made we have a mistake. Then it should be what? It should be uh, soul, souls, and it is what? Controls of obesity A, and it is everywhere, not uh, B, uh, if we are, yes, obviously B. This is not B. This is what should be C. C, C, C. In the previous standard, we have seen also the last three were also C. Okay. Gun, shown, and on. Okay. And what is this? Leg plus leg plus leg. Leg plus something, leg plus something, and leg plus something. The third, the last three lines. This is called anaphora. This is called anaphora. Anaphora means whenever more than one line, started with the same word or the same phrases that is called anaphora this is a repetition okay. and you have seen that there are a number of uh, uh, scissora and some others as well alliteration number of alliterations are there as soon as concerned run online end stop lines are available ok so we will go the next step here yeah. Minimum two. Two lines. More than one. My face is my face in thy thine eye. And we know that in practical life people are saying that. Hey, where well, I have seen myself. In your eyes, you know what age. Yeah, there's I looking that way. And Dine in my mind affairs. Dine in my affairs. Dine in my affairs. Where have I found you? Or how you will find you? In, in my eyes. So it's a reflection. Both sides. And you have seen that this is also parallelism. The structurally they are repeated. And opposite reduplication as well. Later on we will uh, explain it in detail. Then the two plain hearts go in the very stressed. Where can we find to better hemisphere? This is another metaphysical conceit you have seen. When can we find to better hemispheres without sharp knot, without declining west? What does it mean that word? Without not sharp. Why he has mentioned that knot? Cold. And without declining west means death. We are declining the west means the sun is declining, setting. It indicates what? Death. So until the death, until our body becomes the freezes, our love will be the same thing. And you have seen that all the lines are what? Indicates which tense, which time, future, not the present. Then whatever whatever days was not mixed equally. Whatever days was not mixed equally if our two loves be one, or thou and I, loves you alike, that nine does awaken, none can die. So if our love is continued like this way, however we are loving, never we can die, our love will never as well. Okay? Please, try to find out the rhyme scheme of the stranger. What should be this is? A, this is B, this is A, this is B, this is C, this is C, this is C. You have seen that. The same rhyme schemes we have got and the equal lines as well. So this is these are the Sir, I just Sir, I and I sorry equally. It should be different. Sir, I I try sorry. I die equally it should not be. C C D. Okay. This is the regular rhyme scheme or irregular rhyme scheme? Irregular. 
obviously this is completely irregular run scheme okay this is the irregular scheme so as it is the irregular run scheme we should not say it's a what lyric point we must say that it's a what line verse that this is the the condition fulfills okay the one thing just we have uh, seen that this is the exceptional all the stand the consist of the sir same line sir the the क्लियर नाउ सो What is the poem about? It's a poem about what? Love. The true or platonic love of a couple, and the very first stanza indicates their early childhood's love. Love. And the second one is the indication that the present, and this is he directly mentions that this is the conscious love. This is the conscious love, not the unconscious love as well. And the third stanza indicates a which tense future tense. Okay. Future time. so there are a number of questions you know that the questions are there first one what is the point about already you have mentioned that analyze the meter of each lines and uh, you should try to uh, understand the stress and unstress without understanding stress and unstress you cannot okay and uh, find out the tone of the poem what type of tone is it can you not tell that if this is the sadistic tone revolutionary tone or the happiest or joyous tone happy. extreme joyous they have even don't know how long they have passed each other how joyous they are can you imagine and then what is the rhyme scheme and find out the rhyme scheme of the poem already we have mentioned uh, what is the connection among the three stanzas it, it has also been shown to each other okay later on we have seen that there are some other questions as well first one what is a hyperbole already what is hyperbole exaggeration in uh, ordinary language you can say it's an exaggeration okay have you got any exaggerated or hyperbole is yeah, obviously a number of hyperboles we have got here uh is it a uh, what is a monologue how do you prove the poem is a monologue do you think that it, the poem is a monologue dramatic monologue obviously we have seen that the poem is a monologue here there is a speaker he speaks and there is a silent listener to whom he addresses and frequently he mentions that we i you you we etc okay and my face is shown where in my eye sorry in your eyes, eyes and your eyes say dine in mind appears it means that there are how many people are there two, two people, people are there only one is speaking identify the sejora and it should be pause if you are may not uh, that familiar with this one the second uh, the last thing is what parallelism already uh, we have mentioned uh, reduplications anaphora alliteration rhetorical uh, questions then interrogative what is the difference between the interrogative and rhetorical questions you know it Uh, interrogative means one uh, need you, you need an answer but rhetorical questions you need not answer answer, answer lies in the question then exclamation uh, and invocation invocation means a word to address someone else invocation means to address someone else to get the permission to pray to someone else here we have seen that they have been pray to anyone else okay and metonymy and metaphor there is no metonymy as well but there is a metaphor as well there are some other questions you have seen yes let's go on i'm coming there as well gradual what is conceit already you have mentioned and what the conceits you have are used in the poem it is also given what is a lyricism in which way the good mom is a lyric poem Uh, you have seen that how whenever we will analyze the meter of the poem you see that the meter is a similar each and every stanza at the same time 
there are three strangers and each and every stranger consists of the similar lines and you have seen it can be also turned into a song so what is the lyric point lyric point that point is considered as a intent to be sung or it has a music ability music ability when you can turn it into a song in the music it is called the lyricism okay. to some extent not uh, always okay uh, analyze the poem lexical perspective now we are going to analyze the lexical perspective but before doing it we will try to some other things as well of the poem so any question from your side please the lady point to be a lady point there should have uh, some musical ability features musical ability rhyme scheme and what meter must be the regular and then of what the lines of the each and every stanza should be the equal more important is that whether it can be turned into turning to a song or music is important okay anyone any question regarding the poem so sir um, you said that the tagore poems are having said that sorry most of the poems are uh, tagore's poems are uh, lyric poems there is no doubt okay Modern poems are different because uh, there is no line limitations and meters are not that equal and there is no rhyme scheme as well. Okay, they are just telling some stories. Uh, anyone any questions? So thank you everyone. Rhetorical, Rhetorical questions uh, means whenever. You ask someone a question, but the answer is lies there. You need not any extra answer. The answer is given there. That is called the what? Rhetorical question. What is your name? My name is Monisha. So you have to answer it. If I ask you, are you Monisha? The answer is there. That's why the second one should be considered as a rhetorical question. So I think have you understood what is the difference between rhetorical questions and uh, interrogative? Anyone, any question, please? Sir, will you explain lexical? Yes, I am coming. I have already mentioned that I am coming there. Okay. Anyone, please? Any question from your side? Sir, 